welcome back to my channel. It's Sam, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. I thank you so much for joining me. So guys, in today's video, we are reviewing the new beauty brand, One Size Beauty by Patrick Starr, and I am so excited. I feel like I said this in every video, but I'm always excited about everything that I'm doing. But yes, went ahead and picked up some goodies from Sephora. I'm going to be giving you guys my honest, non-biased opinions slash review on these products. We're going to test them out, see how consumer friendly they are, um, talk about the price point, and so on. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Before we get into the video, guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon down below to be notified when I drop videos multiple times a week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Sam Raven. I'll link it down below and on the screen right here for you as well. And let's get into the video. Right, so One Size Beauty, like I mentioned in the intro, is Patrick Starr's beauty. Beauty brand which is such a huge accomplishment so congrats to you Patrick Starr if you ever end up seeing this probably not but just congrats just in case and I was obsessed when I saw the collection I feel like he does such amazing makeup and I have followed him on YouTube for a very long time and when I saw this collection I thought the whole idea behind one size beauty was brilliant smart and that beauty is for everyone it fits everyone there's no small medium large there's no differences in skin tone beauty should be be for everyone it's one size beauty and I thought that was a great message to convey so in his collection he actually launched six different products and I have three out of the six products he launched the Patrick Star visionary palette well it's backwards um, which is this one right here which is actually quite a large palette you get 15 shadows um, it looks like yeah one size fits all is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette with nine super blended Super pigmented mattes and six eye-catching shimmers that are opaque, creamy, and blendable. Okay, so beautiful. I haven't opened this up yet, so I'm going to open it with you guys. And then another product he came out with is the One Size Go Off Juiciest Maker Makeup <laughs> Let's speak today. Remover Wipes. And I was really excited about this. And then I love eyeliner. I'm always on the market for a good eyeliner, and I found some great ones. But this is the One Size Beauty Point Made 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. And he also came out with a Point Made 24 Hour Gel Eyeliner Pencil. And I'll have everything actually right here on the screen, a picture for you guys. He also came out with the Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Eyeshadow. And he came out with the Makeup Dissolving Mist, which I really wanted to try. But had to stay in budget so I had to pick some items I wanted to do and I went ahead and went with this and just so you guys know this I think is the trial size let me see yeah so by the way guys this is the travel size wipes this is eight dollars so it's eight dollars for ten wipes which is quite expensive actually but I understand the packaging it's sold as four it's his beauty brand etc and they are large wipes so maybe they'll last you longer so but this is um 10 for eight dollars his palette is his palette is 42 dollars which i say is pretty typical for a palette um at sephora especially i don't think it's you know a strange price and the point made liquid eyeliner pencil eyeliner pen excuse me is 19 dollars which also is a pretty fair price i feel like it's comparable to like kat von d and what also sephora would sell from their own eyeliner collection so the prices are not insane I would say the most expensive thing is really the wipes in terms of value and maybe the makeup dissolving mist which is $24 which seems really cool but maybe I'll pick it up next time so this is the packaging beautiful nice I guess this is called a beauty carton it has some shine to it it says O slash S one size Patrick Star visionary it has let's see 12 month life I never followed that rule because my eyeshadow palettes will be with me for probably two years. You know, just, just clean them. Um, this is, ooh, this is pretty. This is the actual palette itself. It is a nice foiled pink with the same one size logo. Oh, I just realized, I'm like, why is it crooked? This is like a slant right here and a slant right there. So it's kind of like an angled palette. Ooh, okay. Oh, these are beautiful shades. Wow. Okay. So it has a great, really large mirror, which I'm all about. And these are the colors. These are actually very wearable colors that you can probably use on a daily basis. Obviously, besides like the blue, but everything is very wearable, very everyday, day to night situation. So this is a gorgeous palette. Here is a closer look for you guys if you're interested. 
so you can see what this palette is looking like up close. First thing I noticed, it's like super cute. I love that this black color called Turban Legend has like a little emoji of him basically with a turban. I thought that is, I think that is very creative. I've never seen that before. I love that this one has matcha. It's another little emoji stamped in there. And this one is soft serve and that's another little emoji. I don't know if these are like his favorite colors or what it is, but I think it's like super cute, super different. I've never seen that in a palette at all. And also in terms of the eyeliner, let me show you guys what this looks like. Super pretty, wow. Okay, so this is what the eyeliner is actually looking like. Let me zoom in for you guys on this. There we go. This is what the eyeliner looks like. It actually has a nice little bit of a curved situation here, like a mini hourglass shape. Um, and it, it's actually rubber, so it's a different texture. So it's actually really good for grip. And, ooh, this point is on point let me go ahead and swatch it Ooh, nice and sharp this is what i'm talking about when it comes to eyeliner it is a felt tip i don't always love felt tips but i do like the kat von d liner which is a felt tip and this one seems very pointy very sharp and i love that there's grip here i feel like they never put that on eyeliners and i think it's really important to be able to have some grip so i'm really excited to use this and then the makeup wipe, I guess I will do some swatches on my hand and then I will use the makeup wipe to remove them to see how well the makeup wipe removes makeup because I can't really test it on my face because after this, I'm going to run some errands and I'm not wiping this makeup off unless it's like too dramatic, okay? So let me go ahead and do some swatches for you guys. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of the sparkles and then some of the mattes. So I really want to go into Blue Mon Due, Du, I'm totally failing on this. Blue Mon Du, du Blue Mon Due, I, I don't know, I'm sorry. Someone let me know down below how to say that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. It has very slight shimmer, very, very slight shimmer, mainly matte with a little bit of shimmer. And this is what it looks like on the hand. My hands are a little bit sweaty right now, so I'm probably going to make the swatch look terrible because my hand is kind of wet. So this is how the blue swatches, very, very, very pretty, very pigmented. Next, I'm going to swatch the shade Everything, which is this rose gold shade over here. I'm actually going to try to put the palette on the screen and then circle each color that I'm swatching so you guys know. very pretty this is the color everything it's like a rose gold creamy shade and this is what it looks like on the finger i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the color all of it like i love it but all of it that's a really cute name um very pretty on the finger very beautiful swatch these are actually swatching very well um, and then let's see the next one I'm gonna swatch is hundred percent matte I'm gonna go ahead and swatch mango. Let's try that mango is like this nice peachy tone I'm gonna use my thumb to swatch that one. This is hundred percent matte Probably can't see it that well because it's basically my skin tone, but that is the color mango so Let's go ahead and try out these wipes and see how they perform. I mean they're makeup wipes, so Makeup wipes or makeup wipes. I don't love using makeup wipes all the time. Oh, this is a big wipe. Uh uh, I'm not wasting this. Okay, so guys, this is like so bootleg. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this wipe in half. Just so you know, this is like a huge wipe and this is travel size package, by the way. So that's nice. Um, I'm gonna cut this wipe in half. So really, you can get double the usage out of it because the wipe is so large. There's 10 of them in here. If you cut them in half, that's 20 wipes and that's maybe 20 different applications or removing situations. Um, but yeah, since I'm just doing my hand, I don't want to waste it. I want to see how it performs. So this is half the wipe, which is half the wipe is the size of a normal makeup wipe. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and see how well it removes the eyeliner first and maybe this green shadow. Ooh, it actually is good. Okay. This is actually removing well. So took off that eyeliner very easily. Let's see how well it removes the blue. Excellent. And by the way, these do have, I just smell it. It does have a scent. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and my brows. 
Then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about these eyeshadows more. I'm going to apply them, see how well they blend, and then we'll finish off the face. Guys, I look a little crazy, so don't judge me, but my foundation is on. I have some concealer on and my forehead. I'll fix it after. My forehead just more tan than the rest of my face, so I have to bronze that, but I'm going to do that after. And my brows are on and they look okay today, but we're going to go ahead and try out this palette. So I have some clean makeup brushes here that I want to go ahead and use to give them a fair shot. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and try out this makeup. So I have this kind of fluffy black kind of flat brush. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade Suede Charm, which is this right here. I'm going to pop this in my crease. Okay, so I'm very shocked that the color suede charm actually applies darker than it like actually looks in the palette which i don't know maybe i'm tripping but um yeah which is interesting well, i guess not really once i blend it out seems to be blending quite easily still not used to these brushes but i'm gonna see how well this brush blends out the product but the product is blending very nicely i'm not having any problems blending it I really like this color. It's very pigmented. I barely put any on the brush. And as you can see, like, boom, it's really there. So I really want to go ahead and blend out all of this. And I have this Morphe brush here. I'm going to go ahead and use this brush also because it will help me blend it out. It's really nice and fluffy. So I'm applying the eyeshadow, the same eyeshadow, Sway Charm, on this eyelid also. I think I'm going to try to do a simple look nothing too crazy just something that I would do on an everyday just to get a feel for the palette of how I would typically really use it is what makes the most sense to me but maybe I should use colors that I wouldn't typically use but so far this color is beautiful sway charm all right so maybe uh, rebel gray is really pretty but I don't think I want to do blue because I'm going to go out after this so let's do matcha so I'm going to go ahead and take this morphe brush and I'm going to take the shade Matcha and pop that in my crease. So far, no um, fallout is happening and relatively almost no kickback on the actual palette itself. And this is Matcha and I'm going to try to put this on my outer edge right here. Very, very, very pigmented. Like I'm literally like barely touching the brush to my eye and barely touch the brush into the shadow. And wow, this is very beautiful, very pigmented. So I would say a little goes a long way with his shadows. You do not need to apply a lot. Um, but it's always easier to blend and add more than to try to take away. But this is extremely, extremely pigmented. This is very pretty. Let's focus this in my outer edge area. Is this what it's called? Outer, outer eye edge? I don't know. <laughs> um, and go ahead. On oh, the outer corner, that's what it's called and uh, focus this there and really blend, blend, blend. Very pretty. Gorgeous, I love it. They're blending out like really, really, really nicely. So matcha, I love you. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. All right, so we are all blended with matcha. Any little thing here that it has like came down and I blend it, I will go ahead and clean that up. Um, but so far, so good. This is looking very, very, wow, you can see like my messy desk. <laughs> um, this is looking very, very pretty, very easily to blend, very easy to blend. So it's very user friendly. Okay, so I think the next shade I'm going to go in with is I, not I love it, all of it. All of it. I love olives. That's such a cute name. I'm going to go on with this um, kind of flat, fluffy brush. And this is a green shimmery shade. And I'm going to go ahead and pack it onto my lids. Very pretty. It's applying well. It's not shifting and removing from the areas that I put it in. I have found that I've tried some palettes that you, they're shimmery shade, they're gorgeous. And then you put it on your eye and you try to move it around and they just like move everywhere and they don't stay put. This is not doing that, so that is fantastic. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to blend it up right here just a little bit. This is a very, very pretty shade. 
very subtle and I'm sure if I wet it it would look even better but it's a nice slightly iridescent green very beautiful very easy to work with it's staying where I want it and not moving around but at the same time it's very easy to blend I have the shade all of it all over my front uh, lid area and it looks very very pretty easy to blend like I mentioned and I did not have a problem applying it anywhere whatsoever um, and I always like to say my makeup always looks crazy in the beginning until I tie it all together and then I put my eyeliner on usually and I like fix it up um, but this is looking very pretty this is a simple like maybe everyday evening look or maybe go to work not like a casual look this is actually more glam than I thought it was going to be but very very pretty nonetheless Let's go ahead and apply one more shade. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try the shade Manila Sand. It's like this cream bone color. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this by my brow bone. This looks good. Pretty, pretty basic cream shade. These I normally have. I don't have a problem with. Yeah, this is nice. It just makes my brow bone pop a little bit. Out of all of them, this one is giving me the most kickback, which is. Not really an issue okay perfect so let's go ahead and try to do my eyeliner this is like a very pointed long sharp situation so I'm excited but a little nervous at the same time so I'm gonna go ahead and do my regular eyeliner okay it is very black which is nice it glides on very easily so, so far, easy to use. I'm going to do my typical eyeliner, like a quarter of my eye like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect. Connect it like so. Okay. I think that's a good eyeliner. That took me no time at all. Um, that was like what? 30 seconds maybe so this is great okay so this is what the eyeliner is looking like it actually pretty much dries as soon as you put it on so I know there's some eyeliners that when you put it on they're shiny and then they dry down to a matte but this basically goes on and it's instantly matte instantly is dried down which is not a problem at all um, it looks very very black I'm gonna go ahead and fix this area right here okay that's pretty so I will say it's very black very pretty dries matte but it doesn't glide as smoothly as I would want it to um, like for example this is like this is like not really an example but this is the essence liquid ink eyeliner and I like it because it actually has a brush tip and although it's wet and then it dries down matte I like that the brush tip allows for easy glide easy smooth situation you can just go like whoop and go like that versus this I feel like even though I can get very precise with it which is great because of the point. I have to kind of work in sections going up. I can't just like glide it all the way is my experience so far, which is not a huge problem, but it doesn't have as much like slick to it, I think because it's also more of a matte situation right away. Okay, so I do like this eyeliner, but I don't know if I love that it doesn't glide. I really like eyeliners to glide, like that's just my thing. I'm obsessed with eyeliner, I love to do my wings, and I've gotten it down to how I like it. So this is a little bit of a thicker wing than I would usually do, but I think that's because I couldn't like slick it some more, I had to really work it in sections, which is not a huge issue, because the eyeliner does perform very well. It's very pigmented, it's very black, it's very matte, which is nice, it just doesn't have enough slick to my preference, but that's to each his own. Um, I just like a lot of slick to my eyeliner versus some people like it to be able to work in sections. Alright, so now that my eyeliner is on, I can kind of get a better gauge of my eyes because I have very small eyes that are very almond-ish like. Um, and I like to put my eyeshadow on and then I like to put my eyeliner and then I like to go ahead and pop something else in my crease just to add a little bit more definition to my eye once I know the shape that I'm going for for the day. So there's a shade ca here called Soft Serve which is cute um, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to this area was it my crease kind of but kind of like not all the way at the edge but not in the middle exactly like off-centered just to get a little bit more uh, definition and depth 
in this situation right here. And I generally like to do this because I like to know the shape of my eyeliner that day and then I like to work with it once everything is there and blend it out. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is finish my face makeup, then I'm going to come back, apply some shadow to my bottom line, and then do my tear duct, and then we're going to see how the overall look has come together. So I'd say my face is about 90% done right now, and I'm going to go ahead and apply some shadow to my bottom lash line. I'm going to go ahead and go in with that shade Soft Serve again on the bottom, and I'm not going to put it all the way in, I'm just going to concentrate on the outer corner. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I just did a very like muted brown down there, so let's go ahead and apply mascara. Should I apply lashes? I don't know. I, I think lashes should look really nice with this look, but I think I'm also partially being lazy a little bit. Let me go ahead and apply this mascara. Alright, we have mascara on. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and go with this uh, gold shade called Title Holder. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my inner corner just to see if it'll brighten it up a little bit because I feel like I need some brightness. Okay, so I don't feel like it's really doing much for my inner corner. Like it's adding some shimmer. Let me maybe wet my brush and then, well, let me apply this, wet the brush, and then see if I get some real shimmer from it. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, wow, that's really nice wet. Whoa. That, this is like blinding. Maybe a little too much shimmer. And I'm going to just apply some to my brow bone area right here. Okay, that's very shimmery. I might have to just tone this down a little. Okay, let me go ahead and apply my highlight, my lipstick, and then I'm going to come back with you guys with the finished look just so you can see what it looks like overall. All right, guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I think, excuse my hair by the way, my hair is just like playing me today. I think it turned out really, really pretty. Um, I love the greens. The palette overall was like very, very, very easy to use, very user friendly. The gold I think is my favorite shade in the whole palette. It just pops. It's so like golden goddess and gorgeous. I absolutely love it. The eyeliner is stunning, very easy to use like I said, but it doesn't just have super super slick you know it's just not like super super slick which is fine it's very pigmented and it looks great um but i hope you guys enjoyed this review of the products and like i promised in the beginning let me go ahead and try to take off this foundation stamp with this uh with this makeup remover wipe to see how it works this is like so random Ooh, look at that these wipes are good guys even though they're more expensive i say if you do like makeup wipes Go out and buy them because they actually are very good. They've been sitting on my table for a while. I've used them for other stuff and I just went ahead and wiped off my makeup and it did a fantastic job. Overall, I love the collection. Absolutely beautiful. Congrats to Patrick Star. I'm excited for more to come and hopefully I can try the makeup removing mist. So maybe I'll go ahead and pick that up. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this review. Hopefully it was a good review. I feel like trying to get into the swing of things and review more products and seeing what methods and order and stuff like that that works for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below your favorite product in this video. And you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye!